she wants to play. So I'm having a bit of a slow start to the day since we're still in the middle of lockdown. I'm finding that if I take the mornings a little slower, it just kind of helps, you know, keep the day alive. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning and uh, it is a weekday, believe it or not, but it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I've walked my doggy, I did some yoga, and then I had a shower and I just got out of the shower and I slipped into my fancy pajamas. So these are from Lily Silk and I was like, I wanna be in my loungewear, but I think today I wanna like glam it up a little bit and wear some silk pajamas. These are from Lily Silk and I've seen loads of people talk about Lily Silk because it is the go-to silk destination, basically. They have all sorts of things. So they have pajamas like this, they have clothing. I know, you love silk, okay, I know. And they also have these silk pillowcases, which I have been using because I've heard everybody talk about how amazing the benefits can be from using a silk pillowcase. Just wanna step into the light and show you just like how smooth and silky this pillowcase is. It's so gorgeous. Like it is so pretty just to look at it. I know Effie loves it, but she can get away from it. <laughs> These silk pillowcases are not for you. They are for me. They're made of mulberry silk, which is super breathable and it's great at absorbing moisture. Not only is it like super soft and comfy to sleep on, like there is nothing like sleeping on a silk pillowcase. It makes me feel like a little princess, um, but it has anti-aging qualities and it also helps to promote sleep. And I am always trying to get a better sleep. I love sleeping, um, but sometimes sleep does not love me. And as soon as my head hits that silk pillowcase, I'm like, oh, it's like instantly relaxing. And a lot of people are probably wondering about how it works with skincare on a silk pillowcase, because I know that's something I was really worried about because I wear a lot of skincare, but I haven't had an issue um, with it and it's still really comfortable to sleep on. So I wouldn't be too worried about that. It's also really good for your hair. Um, especially since I bleach my hair. I'm always extra worried about breakage and things like that. And it was actually Amelia who told me that these pillowcases help to reduce the friction between your hair and the pillowcase. So it's like less breakage, which I thought was really interesting. And she's the hair queen. So I was like, okay, interesting. And seriously, when you pair the silk pillowcase with silk pajamas, and you can even get silk bedding from Lily Silk. They have everything. They have bedding, they have like pajamas like this, they have lingerie, they have clothing and accessories. Like, let me just show you. They have things like this blouse. So you can get really nice quality silk clothes there. I'm honestly so tempted to order the silk bedding to match my pillowcases because it's just like so slinky and nice. But anyway, I just wanted to show you these pajamas because they are so perfect. Like it's usually really hard to find pajamas that are the perfect length for my arms. And this is what the set looks like. Just so chic and sleek. I seriously love this. And I have this in a large. So I wanted to make sure that it fit perfectly because I'd never ordered from there before. And I'm about a UK, I don't know, 12, 10 or 12, I would say. And these are a large and there's lots of room in there. Like you can see. Um, but yeah, just super comfortable. The top fits perfectly as well. I love it. I've got you at a weird angle, but I'm just going to do my skincare routine. I'll keep this really short and sweet because I know you've seen tons of skincare routines by now. I'm going to use my Amora Vitsa Queen of Hungary Mist. It just helps to have damp skin so that the rest of your products can absorb. Um, and next I'm going to use, let's see, the Decorte Liposome Moisture Liposome Serum. Put a little bit of that on. My skin has been so dry. It is so dark in London today. We've been in lockdown for a few weeks. Feels like longer, but yeah, this weather is not helping at all. So I've been kind of living like you know, not showering and stuff and just giving up basically. And I thought today, no, I'm going to put my skincare on and put my fancy pajamas on and that is what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna use the Sarah Chapman Skin Assist Platinum Stem Cell Elixir. Make sure you bring it on the neck as well. I'm pretty quick with my skincare. 
especially when I'm not filming and I'm like just slapping it on. Okay, and then I am going to add a bit of my Augustinus Bader, the Rich Cream. This is a bougie skincare routine today. And then I'm going to take a bit of my Tata Harper Elixir Vitae Eye Serum. My hands are super slippery. I love this eye serum for in the morning. This should have gone, I did this in the wrong order because I'm like filming and I'm like, I don't know, I always think I gotta do this quickly so I don't really think straight. But you should put your products on from sort of thinnest to thickest. So I probably should have put this on after my first serum, but that's all right. Okay, and how quick was that? Um, I'm gonna let my hair air dry a little bit. Oh, I always like to rub I always like to rub the rest of the products into the back of my hands as well. Just a little tip for you. Oh, and I need to put some By Terry Balm de Rose on. I'm hungry, let's go have some breakfast. So since I'm taking the morning slow, I thought I would make one of my favorite breakfasts, which is really easy, but it's avocado on toast. To some people, this may not seem like much of an effort. <laughs> and it's honestly not, but normally on a weekday, I don't really make this. This is usually my weekend meal. But I'm really learning the importance of slowing down for yourself. Ooh, she's perfectly ripe. Yummy. The importance of just like listening to yourself and like recognizing when you need to have a slow morning, you know? So I'm just gonna scoop this out with a spoon. This is like my favorite thing to eat on a Saturday morning. So this feels like a real treat. I like things super citrusy, so I'm gonna take a lemon and I squeeze a whole lemon in with my avocados. This might seem like a lot to some, but I just love I love it so much. All right, then I take a little bit of salt. I love the Cornish Sea Salt Company. Just put a little ooh salt bay boop in there, and then loads and loads of pepper. I'm kind of sad because I normally put pickled onions on top of this, but I ran out because I ate them all on Saturday. <laughs> it would look a little something like that. And then just take a fork and mash it all up. I like it to be like not perfectly smooth, but you wanna mix it all in there. All right, so this is what it looks like all mashed up. And I like to take one of these little spatula thingies. I have these tiny ones from Whole Foods. And I like it because you can mix it up, make sure it's all mixed together. But it also helps you get like every last bit of the avocado. Like I do not want to spare any last morsel of this avocado. So that's why I really like using one of these. All right, and then you take your little piece of toast and I just like to scoop it on with my spatula, like this. How amazing. They say avocados are nature's butter and I am slathering it on. And like I said, normally I put pickled onions on top of this, which is so yummy, but that's all right. And then I like to take these chili flakes, not too many, but just a little light dusting of chili flakes. I never used to like spice at all. I was like, I couldn't, I can't handle spice. I would never want to eat spice. I couldn't do it. And I swear, since my 30th birthday, my taste buds have completely changed. I love spicy food. And this brings me to my last piece of the puzzle, which is, where is it? Ooh, my Cholula. This is my addiction. <laughs> I love this so much. I buy it in bulk and I could drink it, but I refrain. But yes, I'm just going to put a little bit, a lot on top of my avocado toast and that's my breakfast. I finally just got this package from my mom. She sent it around Christmas time. Obviously I couldn't go home for Christmas. <laughs> she writes, hold Christmas until a stay gets home. Oh, there's no place like home. Oh my God, this is so emotional. So I don't even really know what's in here. I, I had, I have an idea of maybe one of the items. Okay, I got some amazing thick socks. Love, because every Christmas I ask for socks and underwear. Because that's just like the best when your mom buys you socks and underwear, I don't know why. And here we go. 
some underwear. Love these. Just in case I wasn't aware, to a stay from mother. Okay, this is what I thought it was. It's my custom made 2021 calendar that my mom has been making for us for a couple of years now. She makes like custom cal calendars with like pictures that she finds online and like little slogans. So we have January, noun, the first month of the year. Oh, that's so cute. And like she's put on the certain days, like when certain things happening, like get new office keys. She wrote down on the day that I got the office keys. Oh God. Pamper, verb, indulge with every attention. <laughs> okay, let's see what this is. And this is, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is another custom job, but this is amazing. I'm always talking about how there's so many foxes outside and obviously my favorite swear word is the F word. So that's really cute. Thank you, mom. It's time for this little one's afternoon walk. Her coat. Every coat is too short for her, but it is so cute. <laughs> I am back in the kitchen making some late lunch, early dinner. Um, let me see if I can bring it over there, show you what I'm making. So I'm making the exact same thing I made in my last vlog because I'm just trying to make it a habit and it was so good. It is um, lentil potato curry. And I'm currently just stirring it all up. Trust me, this is gonna be delicious. You just wait. If any of you have an Instant Pot, mine always says food burn. And I know it means like stuff stuck to the bottom of the pan, but I would just be so curious to know how to stop that because when I put the lid on, nothing stuck to it and I stir everything well, but obviously I'm not doing a good enough job. But anyway, now what am I gonna do? Turn this valve and it's gonna steam out. I always get so scared. Oh, it didn't even, didn't even do anything. Okay, let's just, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. Let's open this up and see. Ooh, I will say it looks absolutely delicious and it smells really good. So I'm just gonna stir everything up. Yeah, and now like all this stuff is kind of like burnt to the bottom. I can feel it with the spoon but nothing major, so I just don't know how to fix that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. As I suspected, it was delicious, and now it is seven o'clock, and I genuinely don't know what to do <laughs> with the rest of my day. These days are so long. <laughs> I guess I'll go to bed and work from bed for a bit. I feel like, you know, it's hard for me to make these vlogs super interesting because we are in the middle of a lockdown. So I'm just like at home all the time. But let's go into my room, see what we can find. Um, I can show you the book I'm reading, which is called Real Life by Brandon Taylor. I just started it. So if you're looking for a new book, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, you know how sometimes you just like look at your emails and stuff and you just open them, read them, mark as unread and then repeat, that's basically what I've been doing all day. But sometimes you're just not in the mood, you know? It's one of one of those days today, so yeah. I might just wrap it up. I'd love to know how you're keeping yourself occupied if you're in a lockdown right now, which um, I'm sure lots of people are. So let me know how you're keeping yourself occupied and um, what you're doing to kind of like keep your spirit's high. What little makeup I did put on has obviously rubbed off, but it's okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna wrap it up here, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.